everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome, welcome to week five, option A of the Make It Your Way Blanket Crochet Along. If this is your first time learning about this crochet along, I invite you to check out the description of this video. There'll be a direct link there to all of the information that is on my website. You'll also find a direct link there to the written pattern for this blanket square that we're going to work today. This is the Tide Pool Afghan Square. This is a very easy crochet square to work. It features a very subtle texture that is the same on both sides. It's not too heavy and uh, it's worked using one of um, one of our favorite stitches which I'll tell you about in a little bit. For this uh, square today you're going to need 83 yards of a worsted weight or medium weight uh, acrylic or whatever type of yarn you're using. I'm using an acrylic yarn. This is Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand and there's about 170 yards in each ball. You're only going to need about 83, 84 yards per square. If you're working to make it your way crochet along, you will want to make four of these squares. You're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook or a J10 crochet hook. Again, all the information is in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated every single week with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot. Each of my squares for this crochet along measures approximately 10 and a half to 11 inches once they are blocked. Uh, so today we're going to start by working a foundation chain of 36. If you need to change the size of your square, you will need an even number of stitches for uh, this pattern. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, you will have a total of 35 stitches you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to begin working some of the texture in our square. Our chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to start row two by working a half double crochet in the back loop only. To find the back loop, when you look at the top of your stitch, you have one horizontal bar that is close to you in the front and you have one that is there in the back. That one in the back is your back loop only. So you're going to start by working a half double crochet into that back loop only. You're then going to work a half double crochet into the front loop only. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. Half double crochet into the back loop only and half double crochet into the front loop only, all the way across. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. Now for rows three through to 20, so for a total of 18 more rows, you're simply going to repeat your row two. Work a half double crochet in the back loop only, followed by a half double crochet in the front loop only. 
Repeat that all the way across, chain one, turn your work, and repeat once again. So this is for rows three through to 20. You should then have a uh, piece that is square. If it's not square, you can take away or add a couple rows, whatever you need to do to make your uh, Afghan square uh, the proper size. So continue to repeat that once you have your square worked, then meet me back here and we'll work an edging. Once you have worked through to row 20 for your Afghan square, you're then ready to work the edging on your square. So you're going to start by, if your yarn is not joined already, you're going to join your yarn into the top corner and chain one. Now for my squares for this crochet along, I am working 34 stitches evenly across each side of my square with one stitch in the corner. For this square, because there are 35 stitches across the top and the bottom, it means I'm going to have to at some point skip one of the stitches. So we're going to start by working a single crochet into that first stitch and then into each stitch across, but again skipping one uh, at some point. So you want your 34 single crochet stitches pretty evenly all the way across. So if I skip this one, I'll just work in the next and continue on, just like so. So work 34 single crochet stitches evenly across the top of your square. Once you come all the way across with single crochet stitches, you're going to work one more single crochet into the corner and then turn your work so that you're working along the rough edge of your square and you're going to once again evenly work 34 single crochet stitches along the side. Now you can change the number of stitches that you are working around your square. Just remember if you are working to make it your way crochet along to make a note of how many stitches you are working because you'll want to work the same number of stitches for each square just to make it easier when joining them together. Once you've worked your 34 single crochet stitches all the way across, you'll once again work one in the corner, then 34 across the bottom, one in the corner, 34 on the side, one in the corner, and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. You can then fasten off, weave in your ends, and block the square if desired. And that's all there is to working this tide pool Afghan square. So thank you so much for joining me once again. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.